are currently moving into the valley to attempt to cordon off our, uh, our town that we've occupied in the uh, central part of the map, the uh, Cresnota Valley. Uh, they're looking to set up a... looking to set up a roadblock. Anywhere along the road in the Delta 6 and Charlie 6 grid lines. Uh, so our scouts reported that there are currently a Russian buildup currently at FOB designated Westmoreland in Echo 551. And more than likely they'll be trying to make a direct line down south to attempt to set up a roadblock. We rely on this road being open to supply our, uh, our comrades currently holding the town. Therefore, we're going to be uh, at due haste setting off from here at live and uh, attempting to uh, attempting to set up positions in and around the uh, the road so at live sugar base infantry marker or uh, the infantry helmet mark that is south of the road not all those that are currently up <laughs> uh, yeah the mark of the dome while Airborne squad will be moving to off to his right, probably setting up somewhere in Echo 648, anywhere in that general area, while Boogie squad will basically be pushing across the road and trying to secure Echo 27. Or, my bad, Delta 528. My keypad didn't update. Mark of the 5. 100% accurate, because we're not... Uh, let me put it the, the marks are not... will play out. Russians could get us to that point and we might change everything up. I'd actually like to share So our initial plan is going to be pretty loose but the name of the game guys is going to be maneuverability. We have to be able to outmaneuver and outflank the Russian team. We want to try to stop them from digging in at uh, along the road or at the farmstead and we want to try to stop them from getting the roadblock up. If they get their roadblock up we want to dig that down. In the event that the majority of the Russian forces have been killed before they can set up that roadblock it will most likely be uh, falling back to a certain point, uh, most likely a major building in the nearby area, although hell, just not sure which one. Uh, does anyone have any questions at this time? All right, uh, squad leaders, break off, get ready for live. This time as well. So uh, going, like, we're gonna, to gonna see here. what goes down. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm gonna pull up the map again. But, uh, shortly, but we are live. Four's gonna delay as long as we can for you guys. We're only six men, so good luck. Okay, it looks like four short on so guys, so, um, can. the militia, which is who we're following today, is, uh, Copy. gonna be a, a squad half down, pretty much. So, uh, should be interesting to see how it goes. Looks like... Having some stream shit difficulty. We get there, and there is no contact. I want you to have your, your guys setting up the IED somewhere north of the road. Copy that. So let's just take a while they move into position. Let's just take a quick look at the map while they while they. So as you can see here, this is the map. The Russians are going to try to set up a roadblock here, and they cannot enter the rebel-occupied village. And the Russians decided to pick the very lowest, uh, the lowest green circle on that map. That is where the Russian has started today. So now that you've seen the map, let's jump right back into the action. So it looks like they're just heading straight for that roadblock. And moving with an interesting formation here. Kind of a tactical blob, but kind of not. Uh, we are not, uh, well, this is not Milsom's, but, uh... Wow, 
but I appreciate your your thoughts on the opinion. This is a uh, this is not milsim. This is more like a uh, we're a community that likes tactical gameplay. This is more of a tactical game, not really a milsim. I, I if I would consider a milsim, would be looking at Arma pretty much as a milsim. It's a lot. It's a uh, I usually call it a milsim for beginners, but uh, a lot of our guys have played Arma and. And I'm just from the tactical community, tactical gameplay community. Yeah, they, the battle spacing does look very, very good. If anyone's on the YouTube chat, can you please uh, chat for me just so I know that my my uh, chat thing is working? Because on my screen, I have zero viewers and I have people talking to me, so <laughs> obviously it's wrong. I'm just trying to make sure everything works for y'all so I can make sure I'm responding to y'all and talking to y'all and engaging. But yeah, so far this battle spacing is pretty good. Uh, looks like they're starting to spread out. Two is pretty far. Okay, cool. Michael, thanks for the, uh, thanks for joining. All right, so we do have YouTube. All right, I'll worry about viewers later. It ain't about the viewers, it's about the, the entertainment. So hopefully all of y'all that are here are enjoying it and if you have any questions for me make sure you ask them i'm actually having 22 um and i i hopefully can answer all your questions all right let's uh while they're moving to position let's take a look at the russians see there it goes see it randomly updates now it says i have 20. it's weird what's up barwood thanks for joining dude all right so the russians are moving and will the oh Oh, they might meet there at the same time. Four started at their main. Which is, they're going to be their flanking element. Here. All right. Let's go ahead and pop their names up. The fourth squad is Lev. Is this live? Yes, it is. Two and one. Once we reach road, send a buddy team each north just to probe and uh, check the safe. <laughs> yes, I it is live. Two's buddy team heading, uh, can I find so four he holding and way far heading back. Heading I don't think that the they've area. engaged yet. Copy. <sighs> About to say assault. You know my name. <laughs> All right, so it looks like Russian are having a little little fire team prep for an assault from main. This is a custom map layer. The name of the map is... I can't pronounce that. Crestnoda Valley? Crestnoda Valley? I love this map. Honestly, this map is pretty dang good. Lemonade. I don't know what that means. What is this, these guys doing? Albert and Adina just hanging behind here. Well, that was very fast. Okay. Oh, the local farmer south of the village says that the Russians are near the road. So the right, loyal guys, farmer. Yeah, we're not gonna cross over. That means they're in the Charlie Six, uh, Delta Six grid lines. And shots have been fired. Yeah, they're like I thought. They're gonna meet here at the three. exact uh, same time. Okay, now they're building sandbags. They're trying to build the roadblock here. Update who's engaged right now. That one or three. Yes, this uh, is a one life event. Oh, these guys are just randomly right, shooting. Just fire, then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the militia's picking up on it. They're just like, yeah, what's going on? Where, who's shooting at what? So the Russians have no idea where right, they guys, are. The militia. Yeah, the militia needs to. Okay, they've now. Uh, my Charlie Fire team, the one north of the farm, said his contacts 200 meters to his east. And yep, east. yep. Solid cop. Wait, is east? Right, two, try to get online with That's behind them, but okay. Hey, 
I hope he means northwest. Or, or northeast, maybe. Northeast. Discord link in the description as well. Yeah. Oh, I need to turn slow mode on. Chat's moving too fast, guys. <laughs> Appreciate all the all the chatting though. Ooh, yeah, this yeah. AR is just gonna light this guy up. SL right, goes down. Cut north from there. Any further west, you're gonna be out in the open. Lat goes Command out. Three, no hits. Kind of hurts Blackbird though. We have contact to our north. Contact Boogie north. goes down. Boxer is now taking over. Yeah, Guido, we have text at Charlie six nine eight across the road. They're right in this field here. Charlie six nine, copy at the farm. Six, Oddball, guys. I'm surprised it's not dead yet. He's just running out in the open. These guys definitely need to get help. One in that building could have killed there. most of them. Uh, don't let him move any further south. I'm trying to find this S out here. Looks like this fire team might be Buggy One Squad. Out of it to the west. Yeah, uh, who's gonna suppress those guys? And then Boogie's uh, remaining guys are gonna fall back with Boxer now. And thanks, thank you Assault for uh, for helping by the way. Appreciate help on the chat. Shout out to Assault and shout out to the event admins hosting this. Uh, I feel like they don't get enough appreciation. Their job is not easy and uh, it is can be tiresome to, to host these events. And we do really do appreciate uh, the event admins. I believe the event admins for the night are Cyclone and Razor. Cyclone and Razor. Yep, the calendar is uh, where Shadowed Ritual. He is not here today. Uh, he's doing some real life stuff. So whenever he needs some time, I. Uh, I miss Pins content creation and Muff commentating during the stream. Yeah, dude, those were those were the old days, dude. Copy old that. days. Uh, yeah, I miss Muff. Muff is a, was a good guy. I didn't know Pin yeah, very much. I, I didn't know Pin. Pin was before my time, but I've heard a lot of great things about him. For now, try to stay Russians the doing well. I thought they were gonna get. Uh, oh God. Oh God. Real just gets. Gets shot. Yeah, Shadow still streams. Actually, scratch that last two. I want you flinging the I, gap. Uh, I'm the guy who basically uh, that helps Shadow uh, run everything. And uh, whenever he needs a uh, a break, I step in. Sometimes I stream just because I feel like it. But uh, streaming is more Shadow's thing. So I like to do that for him when he needs a break because he does a lot. Let's just check up on some contact here. Smoke's going out. Server feels a little laggy. I wonder how that's going to affect the gameplay here. Airborne out right in the uh, open. Let's check. One, you're, might want to spread out your squad. You guys are really clumped up. Yeah, yeah really one's way. clumped up. Two. They're Let's missing a lot of guys. Here. Uh, three, I want you to hold Let's check one. contacts. Ah, they're, uh, they're doing better than I thought they were. Seven, uh, seven kills for the militia and four kills for the Russians. So the militias actually have the advantage here, but the militia had fewer guys at the beginning. So. Oh, Hutch, yeah. Hutch was, uh, if you if you go back and watch the old uh, trailers for our basic course and AWS, Man, that's Hutch's voice, and he yeah, was very good at voiceovers. Yes, to indeed. There. Um, I'll pull you back, sec, until we get a one right. or two situated. Why would anyone what, Kilso? So the Russians kind of holding their line here. Militia well, trying to do their best to just hold off the roadblock, but the roadblock is built and now they must try to Negative annihilate that. The farmhouse looks pretty fucking clear, as is the wheat field. One, expect contact to your direct airborne north is down, in the tree I will line. Take it over. And oh, airborne goes command. down, like I said, Hellcole. he was out in the open. Hellcole is now taking over for airborne squad. Copy, we're taking heavy, heavy enemy contact from across the streets. 
For those of you just joining, this is Operation Leg Sweep, and I'm your commentator today, Axe Gaming 22. And it's the Squad Ops One Life event for Wednesday. And, um. Try to send a buddy over there if you think it's, uh, they can make it. Who was that on that AR that just engaged? Uh, I don't know, dude. Copy that. I've got a. I've got contact to my west. Like Militia is you losing a lot of command line. early on, which can be a problem. If their head commander goes down, I feel like they're going to lose this fight for sure. I feel like Alpha is definitely leading um, like he should and commanding like he should, um, trying to manage everything. But, uh,. I appreciate the you're the feedback, but you're gonna try to come around towards me. So hook south of one. Wilco. You're eventually gonna try to fill in that gap between two and one. Squads two and one. Try to just keep those guys bottled up. Try not to look <laughs> see, up. bunny. Too see, it's weird because, because other people tell me the exact point. opposite. Yeah, <laughs> on it. So it's it's more of a balancing act. Efang this FTL doing a very good job of trying to call in shots for his rifleman. Or his lat here. Malicious forces are very like spread out, very thin here. It like they're not even don't have like they're not even like that outnumbered. But uh it, it seems like they are. Fire team over there. Delta Five's got contacts just 30 meters south of them. Jack and don't Call shoot. Down. Realize they're in trouble here. They're trying to fall back. What's up, Turkish dude? Thanks for joining. So Hellcole definitely needs to uh, direct his fire west, but he's too focused about across the road and he's just wasting bullets at this time. One, expect contact to your so north. Russians and fire militia ready. met up at the road at the um, at the same time, but Russians are just able to take over this entire road pretty much and push them back. Bunny, what do you mean by that? The reason I don't know the map is because you see a lot of spectator cams. Since the update, it's hard to really look at the map and tell unless you're on the ground but like i said they're all spread out and you can definitely tell that from here like four has his guys all spread out his commands down two has his guys spread out three has the road. Yeah, it's it's it's, uh, it's a mess for militia. Three, Russia right now, seems that. to have a more three concise uh, ones kind of out in the in the middle of nowhere, but they're doing a good job holding it here. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, exactly. That's why I don't tend to open the map very much, bunny. And three has lost his squad lead. Prince just goes I down. I guess he bled Great. out. Oddball, hold your position there. Don't push up any further. I don't think he got shot. I think he bled out. Copy that. Oddball's now taking command here. That nade's gonna miss. Oddball right up against these guys. They really need to throw nades in there. 
There's no way they don't know where they are in all ball. It's gonna die. I don't think that they have any more in Phoenix is in the is now in the midst of it. We got him an AR with Delta 53 or Delta 56. He's got an SL with him. Copy like 50 meters. There you go. Phoenix, good call, calling grenades. Alright, uh, we uh, got those. Let's see if we is gonna be... Uh, in the, in the Delta six grid on maybe effective? I think he I'll died before, guys, though. Just let him, uh, but he definitely got hurt. This does. guy... Don't know his name. Let's check it. Godzilla Pro. One keep your guys regular. Out, uh, to your east. You're clumping up your guys again. Either a regular or a staff. I believe we'll he's do. a reg. So, Scion is hurt. Phoenix is fine, but needs to get out of there. He's too close to enemy contact for my liking. And it looks like they're they're moving together now. They're getting more concise. That's good. But uh, four, I still don't know what's going on up there. And then fire team four. Actually, strike that. It's a little bit further than that. I'm having a tough time ranging it. Possible Delta five one, Delta five one three, but it might also be Delta six eight. Uh, one's got enemy contact directly across the road. Grid coordinate are at Delta six two. Solid copy. One, try Helco, try to spread your guys out a bit more. You're really clumped up copy that out the order out so alpha is trying to get his guys to spread out Phoenix, which is the, good uh, he needs battle spacing and, get him to plug in that and uh but he, he the last time they did that they got way too spaced out and they were buddy teams were just going out in the middle of nowhere dying so uh definitely not good the Russians have taken this red farmhouse here. And see, that's the other one I'm talking about. Sugheart and a buddy is just, uh, just out in the middle of nowhere. Delta five one. With no storm. See, I hate that. If you don't, if you're not looking at specific people, then their outlines go away. I don't know. It, that's been a new thing. If you can take the elements of three, have them flank around through the town and try to stop that element moving along. Yeah, that that red farmhouse is gonna be. A big, big problem. Because I believe that red farmhouse can see the roadblock. Four, you're gonna double back. It has enough windows to. Yeah, but that way. hill actually is gonna protect them. So. So I got just suppressing the crud out of that uh red farmhouse here. Good thing about where they're attacking is there's just so many trees. So there's a lot of cover, but that works both ways. And engaging troops in the field. And and actually, not even that much cover. It's more concealment than anything. But uh. Um, Matt, so basically our squad ops runs one life events on specific days. Um, and those are Wednesdays. We run our Friday night firefights sometimes. Most of those are PS ops as of recently. And our, we run two sessions on Saturdays. Um, each, each event host of two rounds. So each player gets to play both uh, teams. Um, and they're one life events. We, you can sign up there at squadops.gg and take our basic course to per, to participate in these events. And we also host regular servers on our on squad and postscriptum. And those you can just join whenever. And these servers are custom event servers with uh, our mod, and uh, that allows us to get great uh, maps such as this one and this is a modded layer to t-bird uh the name of the map is the, uh, 
guys in the red building? Cronoda Valley. Cross Noda okay. Valley. Yeah, a lot of kids feel my little cover, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Sughard, not sure. Maybe try to talk to those guys over there. Trying to conceal them in. As soon as Alpha goes down, I feel like the militia's gonna just... I mean, they're already not looking too good. As soon as Alpha goes down, I feel like this is gonna fall apart pretty soon. But the Russians have lost quite a lot of guys. So is the militia. So let's actually take a look at, um, at the kill count here. So Russians have killed 14. The militia have killed 26. So, um... A lot of a lot of kills for the militia actually. The militia is actually yeah, doing very Carter, well on kills. Uh, but it doesn't if you would if you were to look at the, the numbers in the maps here, you wouldn't think so. But actually doing very well. Solid copy. Uh one, are there any uh copy? Ooh, money man lighting up the fortified position of the roadblock here. Is this guy out. dead? He is. Roblox might be clear here. Clay J is the uh, only is one left, and Clay J is actually the second in command down. for Russia. So if he goes down, that's second in command lost. And. And London looks like he's still up. So. Clay J's not needed yet, well, but that is his second in command. E Fank and see there's a bit east. They're kind of clumping up with two's element. As a new player, I found it very difficult to to squad as a solo player. Hardly any exactly. So um, we also host uh, reg takeovers. It's where experienced reg players of our community um, actually storm onto our our servers and we all play together. That's a great way to just uh, talk to our community, hang out with our community, even just hop into the Discord. Discord's on our website, squadas.gg, right, and, and uh, just, just get to talk to us. And uh, most of our guys will be happy to help. You get used to the game. Everyone has to start somewhere, so, dude. So don't don't be afraid to ask questions. That's how you learn. Command, be advised. Four is going to maneuver to head farmstead from the north. We have no contact. Yeah, dude. Find a group to play with. Find a couple guys. From Charlie Five U area. Um, I just got popped there. They probably have a squad up there in Charlie Five One, something like. that. Yeah, exactly. That's why I love reg takeovers because you get good people that that know the game, that that are our community. We always play together, and uh, that's that's when some real, real good uh, content of and, and real good uh, games go down for sure. I believe uh, one of Karma's videos recently was uh, was a reg takeover. Um, on the squad and it, it you can just tell like how the difference of game like of how tense that was um that if you if you want to see something like that that that's probably the best way to go look at it Got or it. i believe assault streamed that event too you can actually go look back at the vods um and they'll get uploaded to youtube soon if they're not already Yeah, even if you don't participate in our One Life events, um, just like Rayman said, you hop in our Discord, get to know our guys. And I don't know what Don't is doing here. He, I think he thinks he got some people. Maybe he's just trying to get eyes on that roadblock. Let's actually check up on these guys in the north. Surprisingly, they're not dead yet. So obviously they're doing something, but they're falling back right now. So let's see, Kuba. Oh, no way. What's up, uh, not Barton? I've never seen him play not before, uh, actually. Or uh, rarely. Squad, and Silas. Okay, so Silas is leading these guys. Original SL. The and they are gonna flank these guys in the the farmhouse, but now in the in the the shed here. Yes, yeah, if you see right. anyone with an obvious tag, um, exactly. those are our regulars. They'll, they're more than likely be more than happy to help you. 
Um, they, at their regs, they've all, they've played quite a lot of our events and know how we operate and and have taken our basic course. So, do you have the basic level of knowledge that we require for our events? And even you can you could take our basic basic course and learn a lot there, and that'll teach you a lot. Copy, hold position there. We don't be all be advised. Hamdog just lighting up. I don't know who, where he's shooting. Uh, he might be shooting. Yeah, he's shooting at these guys in the open over here. And Clay J just holding oh, yeah. his position here. Money man. Oh, uh, Ooh, Friskers now. almost goes down. E faint. Friskers goes down just as I say Four that. Down. Money man, I believe, is going to get that. Yeah, there are contacts to his southeast. Sorry, southwest. Yep, Money man is now the SL. Give me that. Where are you getting engaged from? Ethan. Yeah, Liberal, yeah. Building, it's not going well. Let's keep up on kills. It's hard to follow with all these Copy that. trees and they're all split Kill. out. But the militia has help. now got a pretty decent line yeah, facing the road. It looks like they've can. regrouped. Uh, two, they've the uh, stopped getting so spread out. And they've spread out along the line here, which is really what they needed to do. So, the Russians have killed 18, and the militia have killed 28. Uh, during the week, we have, I believe, two Wednesdays and Fridays. This guy in this field is just going to get lit up. Let's, let's check our tags again, make sure we got everyone. Yeah, it looks like he's lost his his friends here in this shed. Yeah, looks like they went the down. Kuba is now leading this this push up here. This guy's in the shed got wiped. There's now this only guy yeah, in this field is gowned off. Copy that. Four, uh, continue on to try to secure the uh, farm set for now. Uh, two, four, All right, so four, four is going to push on this farmstead here. Four, uh, gets into the farmstead. And that's going to give them a huge advantage because they're going to be able to overlook, I think, this okay, hill right here blocks them. But they're going to be able to cover this whole side, and this SL is doing total war, Copy playing some war. risky business, just crossing like that. Try to work your way and secure the, uh, the, the main uh, the red building. Don't forget to use your scout's IED to help clear it. Shots going off between the road. It's the battle for the road here. It looks like they're going to get flanked. Lon, their command is about to get flanked by Phoenix and Shion. Link up with the elements of one. They're currently out of command comms. Really hope they push push Lon from I here. Can try. That will uh, really, sure really uh, destroy um, the Russian morale here. As Clay J's caught in the middle of the open. Oh, Lon taking close shots from the south. Lon needs to get out of here. But if he does, uh, he, he risks Phoenix sure seeing him for sure. One. If he gets up. Oh, shots. So that else. AR lighting him up. Takes out server. We got a good spread going, and I was waiting for four to take the uh, kick point. We keep losing a lot of guys. They're definitely looking around Delta Five, uh, like one, two, that whole general area. They, we have fucking guys at Delta Six Eight One right now. Copy that. And Lon goes down to Shion. That is Russian command. Alright, I'm out of bandages. I may go down. Okay. Someone is... I think Alpha just said he's about to go down. If I heard that correctly. Or Sug, maybe. 
That might have been Sug, actually. Alright, you're good. AR shots back. Clay Chase now in command of the Thai Russian platoon. Looks like he's ordered his guys to uh, follow up. Uh, nades up. And it's it gets this uh, SL. Gets Total War. Sabiv was hurt a little bit. But or he's gonna uh, live. We got contact to our west in the field, and we got contact in the house proper. Alright, they have taken out the contact in the field to the west, but they don't know that. So. They have secured the farmstead. Now they just need to look to the east. And from what <laughs> looked like a rough. Job from the militia has turned into almost a victory for them here with four able to flank elements. It looks like there's five Russians left. Uh, two, uh, pull all your guys south. We're gonna hook east through the town and come around on their north side. Militia have killed 33, and really the. Russians have killed 23. Just start pulling your guys back. Indeed. Indeed. Yes. Can't agree more, Salt. Sadly, it is no longer in our mod. Or what in our in our pack. Or try your best that, uh, of what we building. use. Once you get it, hold it. Yes, sir. Clay J just literally just sat here and not moved. Like just literally looked position. the same uh, way. Two, Almost wonder if now? he's AFK or something. Like literally has not moved. I wonder if he knows he has contact around him or something. Or do you advise holding? Because like the situation is right li there. little S Scooter, Scooter could definitely, I uh, maybe not see him because of that Harry Hill. This is an interesting op indeed. Oh. Ooh, some rebound there. Dude, do you copy? Yeah, definitely an interesting yeah, op indeed. Total War. Yeah, uh, south from there, do you, do you saw you get the hit there with that nade. I've got some I, I was wondering is, is, is there, if it's going to get you if, if you're the only one across that road there. Everything's clear. But what turned copy out that. to be a... A most likely right, a Russian uh, victory yeah, has we'll turned into to possible to militia victory uh, here. Two, if you can try to start sweeping south, uh, clear out our side of the road. Command be advised, six has contact, two enemy contacts reported, Delta 523. Six also has contact south, southwest. Oh, yep, I believe they took them out. Side of the road, straight out. So now they have two oh, contacts across the road and Clay J. Hey, man, I've got a bit of a perimeter set up here if you want to get in here. It's safer. Nate didn't oh, hit me. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, four has eyes on contact south six, maybe 60 meters south of six. Copy. Four, do you have, uh, have eyes down the Delta Six road? Yeah, not looking good for Russians here. They're just getting popped. Like, these two guys are stuck in the middle of nowhere. Taking shots. Oh, and they're both dead, actually. <laughs> they are both dead. Looks like Clay J. The second in command, hiding in this bush the entire time with no movement, or little to no movement. Looks like he's moved a little bit. Has Guido, I've got possible contacts 100 meters, is the last uh, one. East, southeast from my position. If I'm correct, I believe he's the oh, last God, one. Yeah. Scooter thinks he saw something, but then says his eyes are playing tricks on him. No. Nope. That's a negative contact southeast. That's a Clay J. You need to kill him. Alright guys, uh, next up business, we gotta confirm to see, they make sure they haven't gotten that roadblock up. They have. How have you so not... Eyes on that. How have you Scanning not room. confirmed that already? Copy. Four, if you send someone to link up with six, and then continue to hold that building. Alright, Sug's gonna run right, right in... Ooh, Clay J almost ran right into it. 
Delta 684, solid copy. All right, four, I want you heading outside, leaving that uh, building right now. Oh, Clay J. Clay J, Clay J, Clay J. You gonna get Sug? Or is Sug gonna get you? Why don't you linking up with him regardless? The moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. South of the Delta 684 grid line. Ooh, Sug, Sug, no Sug. Oh, no. Smoke and we'll start clearing it out and try to push and deal with that shit. As soon as Clay J fires, he's gonna have Storm from Scooter. Or he's throwing a nade or something. Maybe. I've never seen Scooter before, so he might be a little scared. Ooh, he's kind of peeking on that hill there. He might get shot here. Uh, Command, I can set up. Great concealment. Yeah, he's doing a good job at concealment. But not cover. He definitely needs cover. I would just, like, get in the sandbags. Now, he can't move, but, like, that's where I would have gone. But, uh, those are really grenade traps, so, I mean... And they expect the that. Oh, it was in but Scooter just needs to, like, just start pushing up or something. Copy. We got nothing else in the, out of the field. Hey, Firm. Alright, uh, once you're with the six, I want you guys working together, clearing out that north side of the road. Two, once you've cleared out the south side, I want overwatch. We're gonna start popping smoke. We're gonna get guys moving in to uh, dig down that roadblock. So, Clayton's gonna have great eyes on that roadblock and is more than likely gonna take out one to two people before spotted if he's lucky. But let's let's check Scooter's eyes real quick. Can he see him from this location? And not really. You can see a little bit, but yeah, that's with our that's with our marker. Yeah, there's no way. Just the one. Yeah, he remembers his basic training. Uh, you gotta remember that. I've taken basic training Dude, so many times. Uh, are those friendly or are those enemy fortifications? Sandbags are two nine three on the road. We will see him. Uh, yeah. It's unknown. Um, down, right? I don't think there's enemies in them, but. It's part of the same deal. Copy. Yeah, we could ID him. Uh, let's uh, get to the fucking road to the north. Try to deal with their fucking... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get a fucking spray. Okay, Clay J will now be able to see them crossing. Sug has a very good shot of uh, of seeing them, but Alpha does as well. As he pushes up. Two, I want you primarily providing overwatch. Four and six, I want you guys moving in and uh, securing it. Uh, I've actually got a scout with me. I can fucking bomb it. Copy. Do it. Okay, Clay J, you need to turn around. And just to confirm, we have not cleared out those sandbag positions south of the roadblock, right? Oh, oh, turn around. Oh, you see him. He sees him. He's lighting him up. Okay, Scooter. Scooter, throw a nade. Oh, one shots to the face. Mr. Sugheart with the final kill. That's a GG, boys. That was a really good... Uh, Round interesting, hard to spectate on this map due to all the trees, but hope you enjoyed. That was round one of Operation Leg Sweep. I'm your commentator for this evening, Axe Gaming 22. Hope you enjoyed and catch us for round two, boys. Does the uh, does the blockade have to be dug up or can it be like RPG dumps? Stakes and all, so. My suggestion is we kill all militia and dig the roadblock.
forest. This is our homeland, and we don't want the Russians here anymore. So we're going to be trolling. Uh, from here, we're going to be heading north northwest. We're going to uh, have a play squad taking up a position in the forest on the BTR marker. Crispy's going to be taking up a position in the forest on the friendly fob marker. Total War Squad's going to be moving through uh, the town and basically emerging. Um, let's see, what shall we give him? We'll give where the uh, tank mark is. So Total War will be moving through the town and coming out there and look to harass the enemy uh, from their north. And we have Dwarf Squad, who's starting from Maine. He'll be putting IEDs on the north side of the forest and then pulling back, getting a uh, defensive perimeter and trying to be a scout for us to determine where the Russians are and where the roadblock's going down. The roadblock must be in the Charlie 6 or Delta 6 area. It's going to be four sandbags across the road. All right, those of you with LATs, remember you can hit trees in the forest. Your rocket will explode in those trees and it'll have an uh, area of effect, an air burst if you like. I believe they used that to good effect against us in the last round. So keep that in mind. Other than that, much like the first round, this mission revolves around speed of patrol. We need to get to our uh, staging points as fast as possible. Once we uh, come into contact with the enemy, we need to be as aggressive as possible, fix them in place with a base of fire and try and outmaneuver them. Again, our objective is to hold the roadblock that the Russians might put down and if so, destroy it. Uh, and then definitely to kill every Russian that we come across. Any questions? All right, one last thing. If you happen to have a sandbag in your kit, go ahead and deploy them on the south side of the road as defensive positions. Every squad has an ammo bearer. I'll try and prioritize that for the uh, high value uh, assets like our LAT and ARs. Other than that, have fun, guys. Listen to your squad leaders, listen to your fire team leaders, and uh, enjoy this uh, modern map we have. I think it's great. All right, break them out, squad leaders. Good luck. Dylan, where are you? We can start uh, yeah, up here, probably, from, I suppose, anywhere inside this um, complex. 20 seconds to live. Is that right, Razor? Anywhere inside the walls here is good for a start. Hey, friend. So let's see how the militia are able, if they're able to beat the uh, the Russians to the road. We're actually going to follow them out as they are now live. And actually, let's go check up on fours. They're going to run into the town first. Squad leads, make sure you guys are dumping their sprint. Speed is of the essence. Londar's telling them that we need to double time it, as they indeed do. But uh, they have to realize last time, they literally met at the road at the same time. So that could easily happen again. Uh, while four is still getting in prep, let's see where the Russians are as we pop up with them. Oh, they're heading more towards four as the location right now, the farmstead actually. So they're sending two to the north in the town, and the rest of the squad is pushing through the hills towards Farmstead, and not the main village. For those of you wondering what I'm talking about, I'm going to pop up the map real quick to show you um, 
where the Russians had the choices of starting. So this is where the, I mean, the, the militia had the choices of starting, which is where Russians all have to, to question, are they coming from here? Right up in the to the compound, right next to the village, uh, but the same distance out from where they actually started. So, with that said, they have to expect contact from those positions as well. Oh, and they can also start at their main, which they did, but they only have one squad there. So, four's already at Farmstead at this time. And if they scout, they're going to be able to see the entire platoon on this hill. But there's a lot of trees for concealment. So maybe not as easy to spot as one might think. They're just passing through. And they're going to set IEDs um, to the north. Which is a very cheeky move. But I do like it. We'll so we can prioritize the safety oh, yeah. of those two scouts so they can uh, detonate. Ooh, well, okay. He's setting up his guys to watch. Meanwhile, they've put in two IEDs pretty close together. I feel like it could have been a little bit more spread out. But I don't think that they're going to run into it, actually. I think their whole squad is going to be to the west. And gonna flank them? I don't think they're going to push the road from the side they think. I think they're gonna try to flank and go on the south side of this main road here and then push their way up from the south. I mean from the west to the to the east. Yeah. I think they're gonna they're gonna push through, push to the south, they're gonna run into contact with four. They're gonna make a line. And they're gonna push up. This is just me guessing. I don't know. I'm just trying to go into the thought process here. But they're gonna run into contact with four soon. And yeah, because Sultries is looking that way. I'm about to run out now. If you're, uh, you're out a long way to the east, can your guys to your west see the western part of Charlie Six and defend it in case they place the roadblock there? I'm aware. Uh, to my west. Yeah, they can Sultry's west. looks away looks like right when he needs to start okay, looking of you, course um, head to the how can you host do a elaborate copy west of four yeah crispy the local farmer right, hang on. We just south the village says russians the are russians near the road. road they must be in the charlie six grid or delta six grid four do you have any eyes on them negative They are indeed pushing to the west. Those IDs are going to be ineffective. So great idea, but uh, it's not going to work for the plan that uh, Alpha's set forward. It looks like. And Airborne's leading these uh, team up here close it. to the road, and it looks like they airborne. have. Eyes on, they have called out contact to the west. How many? Um, become a spectator, just like watch live. Um, you can actually play. Spectators are uh, players that have played and then died. So, I mean, to spectate, you can, uh, you can play, and then when you die, you can spectate. But we don't just, we don't allow just random, like, uh, not random, but like just spectators. Yeah, they're gonna to they're gonna push the south. Yeah, they, they shouldn't be able to cross south and flank you from if you've got set up uh, just with a buddy pair. Oh no, Chris that's Chris. that's exactly what yes. they're doing. That's exactly what they've already done, Lon. Yeah, buddy pair, northwest across the already road, done that. The they've 
already done that. You're already getting flanked. Lon, you need to change your plan. You need to stop focusing all your team to the north. Two is going to flank flank them, but I don't think it, they're so far north. They could have easily flanked them from a shorter distance. Shots taken out. What are you shooting at? Dwarf needs to call out his contacts on his side, but he doesn't see them. Dwarf is gonna get, uh, gonna get caught. Peach, Peach, look, you're gonna get flanked, dude. Oh, these guys are gonna see him. No ways, these guys. Yeah, fire, dude. Who's the SL? Clay J, call it out. Thank you, Clay J. Clay J, it was a late call. Two, get on, get spread out north to south too, and then start walking west. Uh, be careful of contact. Make sure you guys are really spread out, like 300 meters. Copy. Four going way wide, way wide, but they are going to be able to successfully cross the road. You're good to move these two guys here. I think they're trying to put it in the Charlie Six grid. What are you? Charlie Six grid. Southwest? They've already put it in the. In the Charlie Six grid, I believe. Are you able to move further southwest? Yep. Already yeah, put it in the Charlie Six grid. Alright, one and four, be advised. Bravo seven, that blue patch is a huge open field. So if one, if you get eyes to your west, it's going to be very hard for them to flank you. Quad three, you're going to be moving online, not in a file, but online to the northwest. So that you're going to be linking up in a platoon line one, four, three, and two. Then we're going to walk it. He sure is happy to put down some barbed wire. That's for sure. We're moving. Come in. Conta, dang, Alpha Guido. This team has been doing pretty well this evening. Already have fortifications. I love Alpha's plan here. And Lon. Being the kind of veteran as a as a veteran commander commands a lot. Um, I didn't expect it to be um, this sided towards Alpha, but Alpha doing his damnedest to hold his own and doing a, a very good job. All right, well let's assume because we haven't been shot at in Delta Six, they're trying something out there into the west of Charlie Six. Three and two, you're going to link up and you're going to walk it to the west. Chris, this is really important. There is a massive field. Eyes on. I have eyes on. Roger, you can Chris, you can tell Chris, the difference of commanding um, from to Alpha to to Lon. Lon's very calm. Alpha was Charlie very calm Lon. before, um, but uh, is you didn't hear him quite as much. Lon is Charlie definitely um, making making an audible audible okay. here. Alpha, I think, is really, really good at creating right, plans, and that is showing. They are, yeah, they are, the yeah, dude, they, they have flanked you from the south very hard here. And this, okay, this flank is executed by guys, Silas. Uh, it's alright if they, basically your northern guys need to go due west, otherwise you're going to hit an open field. Copy. Like and there's west. tons of contact so you're gonna need to be from the northeast to of like of, our, of uh, militias all the way to the northeast and now has just made a line two's made a line commands over there with them and they're just gonna start pushing west this might work Lon is doing a, a good move here but they're gonna get flanked very heavily from four for one and four, I don't expect them living much longer here. Clay, if your LAT is still up, make sure he's bringing heat rounds and frag rounds and whatever he's got into uh, the location, Charlie 6 4, into that forest. Copy. Hey, one, they're between you and me. They're trying to get between you. Are they south of the road? Copy for. 
definitely south of the road here. Yeah, we definitely have a quite a quite a lot of uh, videos in the works. All right, wonderful. Try and hold them. Uh, three coming Duluth. In from uh, the north. Three, you're walking straight towards an open field that I called out. You won't be able to cross it. Copy. They're like in grenade range of you guys. Are play. Copy. Dwarf. Throw some. Yeah, it's a good job. Three, yep. Yep. Yeah. Don't throw a nade yet. Wait them to get in there. Clay J is in grenade range though. Or close to it. I believe so. At least nuclear is in grenade range. Or close to it. So one. One and four, doing a decent job holding here. Didn't expect them to hold this long. Um, it's almost like they're just distracting them while four can flank, which is kind of what they are doing. Because four is now going to start pushing in and going to flank one. As soon as that happens, one is going to go down. I expect one to completely get destroyed here, but three is now pushing in on two. Yeah, they're in those houses. I tried to hold the fire. That flank was compromised. And let's see if uh, Guido is going to call an audible here and pull I some forces to the, the north guys. as two now is the only to contact to the north between two, three, Copy and five. Leave a leave here covering the farmhouse and get the rest of your squad flanking the enemy they're, position. They are in the houses. I talk to him. Some people talking. Tell them to shut the fuck up and let me know when yep. you have comms to talk to me. <laughs> Three, are you in a position to talk yet? We're good. All right, you notice where platoon command is. This is where I wanted both two and three. I didn't want you walking across the open field that you were trying to engage across. So Crispy, I want you to leave a big pair guarding the south of that farmhouse and get the rest of your squad moving ASAP. Same goes for you, Copy, Total. we're moving. Okay, so now Lon is definitely Wait, upset that uh, that they have lost the uh, so my buddy, element of supplies. Oh, no, no. Surprise. Okay, me, so now you can hear Dwarf going, are you getting shot from the south? Indeed, one is getting shot from the south. All the way around you. Yeah. Yeah, Dwarf now realizes, hey, Clay is completely flanked. Ooh, Blackbeard, throw nades, please. Two, once you get past me, you can keep on pushing. Throw away. nades, please. To, uh, oh my god. Blackbeard, Robo not looking one. good here, dude. South. Three, you're gonna be moving southwest. Come on. Position. Oh so god, it's... dude, you are such in a bad position. I've got, come on, I've got a lot of dudes in this fucking house over here. And I've got guys from my southeast flanking me. Roger that. What would you like me to do? You guys didn't have security set up. I can't really do much about it now. I'm not. I'm, I'm telling Nade? You, I'm, just, I'm not saying asking. Uh, I don't you. think. Nah, he's, they're falling me. back. Almost though. Yeah, that was a decent out. nade though. For them falling back. Okay, so they Which now are falling back. For the, the medic there that uh, they blow those IDs. Wow. Shocked that one. And four, one, yeah, one and four are still here. Shock. Oh, oh, me to see, me to see him, see him, me to see. Oh, it's Barton. Oh, Barton. The laser is to toxic. He's gonna get Wayne as well. Barton might single-handedly walk, wipe out this fire team. Me just get him. Barton sees him. He has to. No, he doesn't. Ooh, me just goes down to Barton. Nate goes out. Ineffective. Ooh, Barton gets taken out. I don't know where from. Uh, buddy maybe pair. I'm in us. Maybe. Fire on that, but that's okay. You moved it, but you're gonna have to put the same buddy pair firing on that, so you don't. 
get here. Barton and doing some sense. work. Indeed, indeed. Or should I say not Barton? Definitely not Barton. That's what his tag says. <laughs> Alright, Dwarf. Clay J have now linked up. Realize they're flanked from the south. Commander, are we waiting, are we waiting for some And they might get pushed move from the right west out. now. Oh, you, you can move south. Actually, send, send As the they're building up major fortifications. Yep. And then get the risk squad moving south. Three is going to be a base of fire. Three get on Not going to be right, easy to dig uh, down really this, get ready to start shooting to uh, south. this uh, roadblock here at all. They're definitely going to need IEDs. Because they will see you already, all right? So just get set up there. As long as you're not shooting at uh, a hill, start putting gunshots to your south. Alright, one is down to three. We took contact from our south. We fall back to four. We're now recovering the west. I'm sending him to you, man. So they're doing a long, two is doing a long flank, three is doing a direct flank from the north, northwest, and five's just hanging back as he is coming. For the enemy, two is just kind of holding it, giving them buffer room while one and command build up. Crispy already lost two dudes. Two guys from that. Just creeping in, getting. I'm hit. Crispy might lose his whole squad. Let's check up on kills. So the Russians have killed 12 and the militia have killed 14. Still a very even match. Crispy down to three guys? Not looking good for three here. What is up, Triz? Three. Where are you getting shot from exactly? Stand back from the grid. Can you hit from the south? <laughs> yeah. Lon, Lon was easy to call it out south. Like south. Let's see who's shooting at there. Looks like Boxer, don't get shot, and Arcardi are the main forces shooting at three as of now. With the help of Prince, Freddy, Boogie, and Shannon. Alpha Guido up here. He might get... Nah, he's pretty safe. He's taking shots. Be advised, At what exactly? From Bravo Don't know what he area. sees. He might see three, but I doubt it. I don't even think that's three. I think that's part of two. Yeah, that's part of two. Three SL goes down. There's only one left of three. The machine. The machine. Oh, this machine hugs. I was thinking of that comedian of the machine story. But shout out to anyone who started that. That's a great com comedic story right there. Guy who's in the Russian mafia. Yeah. Yeah. Here, yeah, this machine's like, yeah, dude, I need help. We got, uh, we took fire from the east, southeast. Uh, okay, that's semi accurate. I'll, I'll take that. Let's go check up on one and four. One and four looks like they've kind of pulled back to the east a little and have got online to protect from the west and south. 
We have contacts southeast of our position. Roger that too, that's the objective. I would expect there to be contacts there. Yeah, copy. Uh, dude, you gotta love Lon's bluntness. Ah, yeah, see, you know. He's a hand up to the log, he's trying to see west. Barton, the fifth year, man, you did some work up there. You took out three, three guys single handedly. Yes, this is round two. Uh, Peach, you're wrong, but they are right in front of you. <laughs> Come on, Peach. You're gonna get shot here. There's no way this guy don't see. Spot cuts out at about 250-ish, 300. Yep, yeah, as I say that, gets lit one shot to the head. Let's say you took that shot. It's gonna be a rather Scottish chap. Clever, I like the name. So... Atomic Peach goes down. West at all, or do you still have contact all around you? We've got contact southwest of us. That just killed one of my guys. Yep. The oh four guys. All right. Well, we're just sitting still at the moment, getting picked off. Uh, do we feel I like never we're see you in off, so it's at the same time? maybe I'm just not paying attention. Yep. But it's good to see you, not mm -hmm. Barton. <laughs> Alright, uh, dude just got hit. No, he never does. Four, never strength? does. I I'm like four strong or five strong. I'm, I'm gonna make a fucking. Well, Lon is the one it's commander like where I really retarded. just don't want to mess up in because you make sure that you know that you're retarded. He's just like, <laughs> you're dumb. Why did you do that? Two just, two just died. Two SL just died. That's a big loss. Let's actually check. Is there any original commands? Four militia. Trying to figure out right now, boss. Door. Crispy's dead. You're, you're leading a squad now, so you got three in your squad left. Yeah, Roger. So Frost. Have you killed much of the uh, the enemy, or are you guys just getting shredded over there? And Clay J. We got a whole fire team, at least a fire team. So it looks like it's only two. Well, the, the objective is just to your southeast, 200 meters. Okay, Roger. If you could get perhaps Seviv to pull back to you, if you can. Clay J is his second in command. And for the Russians, we'll Starcar is second in command. Boogie's right still alive. Hellcool is not. Near them to push onto the objective. So just really for us get uh, Alpha's um, looking pretty good here. Then, Looks uh, like Alpha's like dead though. Play. So Sugarheart is in command of the Russian. Yeah, Roger, I got and you. as I say that, Frost goes down too. Is completely wiped from the northern flank. That's a big loss. That was going to be the main thing that saved them. I don't see, uh, I do not see the militia winning now. Let's check up on kills. Russians killed 23, and the militia have killed 18. Let's just look at the fortifications of this roadblock. I really don't see them getting to this roadblock, but it is nice to see. Sabiv is still alive, you say. Where is he? Oh. Is this him? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Oh, Sabiv. Gonna get him. Gonna get shy on. Gonna get ham dog. Is he gonna get get shot? Oh. Ooh. Oh, Sabiv, don't lay down. Oh, it's whoever gets up first got the advantage here. Sabiv, what are you doing? You talking? You having a conversation? Okay. Dude, Sab everybody's just in the rack. Okay. <laughs> Sabiv just... Alright. <laughs> Literally, Sabiv wiped out three people by himself. Wait. Should I be doing this now? Ranger? Hello? Is there an event Yeah, I have an event here. Okay, should I be doing this? Um, you should start trying to regroup. 
We're gonna move away from that as the uh, sky god has a word. But Sabiv going off with the only remaining forces. Oh, and speaking of that, where's the lawn? Lawn is still up, but okay, he's way far back. Okay, cool. Is Sabiv still alive? Did Sabiv die here? Please tell me Sabiv didn't die. Did he? I think he did. I think as soon as I left, he got pushed up on and died. Alright, rip Sabiv. Yeah, Sabiv's dead. Rip. Okay, let's go see him command. See if he's alright. See what he sees. Who does he have with him? He has Mr. Which is part of two. Okay. One and four. Any chance you're gonna tell me the south side of the road, say? Okay. Yeah, we're slowly, we're slowly going here. Alright. One pushing and on four. North, likely to go down. Obviously, just keep on getting the guys. Down. Yeah. Lon knows he's alone no, here. He has to push, but nothing really he can do. Two guys, good call. Oh, clear the back blast. Don't fire. Thank you. Good job, Hawk. That's not. Did not hurt him? Okay, I guess they changed that normally. Back, I remember back in the day, if you stand that close, you're dead, dude. There's no way. Oh, I died so many times from back blast back in the day. Or not died, but severely got hurt. Ooh, this SL might go down. Silas having a bandage. Shots from sheared chest. Sheared chest. Or sacred chest. No, sheared. Yeah, sheared chest. IED goes off ineffective. Yeah, F in the chat. F in the chat. Silas gonna pull off here. So one and four, actually the, the squad I first thought were just going to get flanked and destroyed have lasted the longest and are now the final last four squads. All right, we're getting, we're getting on these guys are pushing back north across the road, north side of the road. Roger. I'm not sure if there's contact near me or not. I thought I just heard footsteps, but we definitely lost a lot of guys here north of the road. Yep. Well, thank you, JV. I can't say your name, but but uh, thank you. <laughs> we appreciate it. And we are glad to have all of y'all. So, with that in mind, if you're new, um, welcome to Operation Leg Sweep. I'm your commentator for this evening. Uh, Axe Gaming 22. This is round two. I'm coming cl close to the end here. Um, still interesting firefights. But if you want to participate in these ops, make sure you go to G, sign up there, take our basic course, and you can participate in these ops as well after you take that basic course. And and so much knowledge in our in our SOTT courses, I recommend all of them. And they help you no matter how many hours you have in the game. Ooh, Hawk, not looking good here. Getting suppressed from that hill. How is Hawk still alive? And as I say that, Hawk goes down. Not a good idea. Tried to smoke it. Definitely did not. GL smokes everywhere. Recently in Ops, GL smokes have been increasing a lot. There's been so many G GL smokes used in recent Ops. It is insane, and I'm happy to see it. At least when it's used effectively. All eyes on you. 
because geo smokes are just for marking they're not for uh these basic white smokes that you see here they're not for like a uh, moving or anything they're just to mark well, well dwarf your your wish is about to be granted here so smoke is dying out in front of you. There he goes, there he goes. Well, dude, we hope you enjoy it and can't wait to uh, to see you in there. Another GL smoke goes out to mark enemy contacts from the Russians. And let's just see if command is still... They're west. Guy's west of us. He is. Lundarts is still up Can in command, but not down. talking much. They're gonna try to to knock out the guys on that hill. Hey, did they get him? Yeah, they did. They got the AR off the hill. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. There's another one. It's probably an S. It's Kuba. Oh, there he is. He's peeking. Would I be right in saying west of the logistics vehicle? Kuba is an FTL. Oh, I see him. Uh, yeah, left, west of the vehicles, there's a couple, and then north of the vehicles. Not so much north, uh, northeast, east. <laughs> Kill count? Militia have killed 25. Russians have killed 28. Trying to get the AR up, set up, and then he's going to uh, shoot the map, like, open up an uh, opportunity for you guys. Militia very low on forces. But even the militias, the militia have five, and that's right. including command, which is alone. Or he might have his buddy with him, actually. And... Speaking of command, he is now down. They have lost command. It is now Mista, the only remains of two. So it is five people. Mista alone in the dark. With Dwarf, which is now Platoon Command. Oh no, Clay J is Platoon Command with Dwarf. Thor. And that's it. Four guys left. Command went down. Clay J is in sec is second command. He will now take charge dance? of the platoon with Dwarf as his SL. Yeah, no way militia is gonna to get it. Uh, gonna win from here. The best they can do is take out as many as they can. That roadblock is too build, uh, built up to try to tear that down. There's no way. See one guy behind sandbags. He's running. Running right. Just gonna run straight to the sandbags. A lot of shit dig up, but fuck it. We we won't even be able to dig it up. Don't need it, and if you have that, I don't have a nade. Well, what I should have done is had you guys further west than I did. There's a lot of things. A lot of what people should have done. And they're just going to push it now. 
They've done their best to smoke it off. And they're going to push. As soon as they pass those smokes, though, they're, they're going to get lit up. Dwarf just jumping, trying to live. Dwarf is still alive, pushing through, running into contact. Dwarf now shooting. Dwarf goes down. Clay J and Thor's taking shots. Thor is really in the open here. Dwarf and Clay J has a little bit of concealment running through. Clay J just gets mowed down. Thor's only one left. Thor taking shots now. literally just surrounded not literally well, he's not surrounded but there's just so many guys in front of him and he gets taken out or shot at from the guy from the hill which causes him to push into the open fire of the line and that's gonna be GG hope you enjoyed operation leg sweep I've been your commentator this evening X gaming 22 and hope you all enjoyed if you did make sure to uh to check us out on all of our social media uh twitch.tv forward slash squad ops and youtube.com uh, forward slash squad ops and if you want to participate in the ops make sure you go to squad ops .gg, sign up there take our basic course and hop in these ops i hope you did enjoy tonight i know i did and shout out to the mod team for making this custom map uh, called Kurt cross noda valley hope i said that right and shout out to the admins for hosting the event razor and cyclone thank you and for everyone joining i appreciate it hope you did enjoy and good evening